Now, thanks for staying with us. Now, since the lockdown began in Nigeria, schools have been shut down with students forced to stay at home um, to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, we have students joining us to share their experience adjusting to the new realities of online learning and the stay-home order. Oluwa Jomiloji Tunde Oladipo is a year 12 student of Olashere International School, currently serving as head boy. He's a member of the Model United Nations. He's also a Global Young Leader Conference alumni. He's a student, um, school student and Teachers Network Gold Certificate awardee. And he, has, he, he aspires to become a software designer in the nearest future. And Jomiloji loves to play soccer, um, swim, read, and uh, run and play Lots of games. Now, Hi. great to have you, Jamiloji. <laughs> Alpha Esosa Sale is a year nine student of Olashere International School, currently serving as the head boy junior school. Alpha is a certified Microsoft practitioner and a Muson practitioner since 2016. Alpha aspires to become a tech entrepreneur in the future. He also loves to read, play music, sports, and games. Great to have you, Alpha. Now, <laughs> remember, amazing. you can join the conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Way Show Africa 1 with the hashtag Ways or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. Thank you so much. We have legends with us. <laughs> I must say, <laughs> it's not easy to be head boy. Head boy, head boy, head boy everywhere. So how have you guys been coping since the lockdown? You know, because... Practically, I understand that it was when you just came home. In fact, you were pulled out of school because of the lockdown. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, have you, what, have, what has been life like that um, since then? You mean socially, not education-wise? No, all of it. Socially, oh, it, first. It really depends because I was not meant to come home for this holiday because of the upcoming work and everything. So yeah. um, wow. coming home was more or less as a surprise. They just called us and said, look, you're coming home. And then we're like, well, <laughs> but be, um, no, my question now is you are in year 12 yeah. and you're supposed to be writing your, your final, final exam. exam. Yes. So how has that affected you? Because right now we don't even know when this is coming exam. to an end. Yes. So how has it affected you mentally? Well, so it really depends because some people, they were prepared. So they are kind of annoyed that the exams You've already got done mock postponed. exams and uh, all that. Yeah, so they were kind of annoyed that the exams got postponed because some of them want to write it. Then for some other people who maybe they have not done so well over the years, they wanted to use this exam to like catch up on wow. their grades. While there are some people that this is like their lifeline, they have not been serious throughout, so they have like- They're using this opportunity. Yes. Do you know, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so yeah. they're using this opportunity to catch up on all the studies that they were I not prepared for. So for some people, it's also a lifeline. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, so have you done, you? sorry, have yeah. you done mock exams in your school? Yes, so you've so been well prepared mock. because this is, this is April, they're supposed to start in May, right? We should, no, You're supposed we to should have started. Yeah, that's like, what I'm Oh my we goodness. We should have started. Right now we should be in the middle of our Even exams. for you, Alpha, you're supposed to write junior secondary school WIAC examinations? Yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to have, this is, we are supposed to have actually started writing it by now. But then this pandemic came and all of us had to be pulled out from school. Like, <laughs> most of us were so happy that we weren't even going to come back because some people were not ready. Some people haven't, hadn't even started reading by then. So it came as a huge surprise to most of us. So how have you been coping with the lockdown? Oh, <laughs> we're getting by. You're getting by? <laughs> no, we don't want to get by. Tell us. So I what have you been my... doing to keep yourself, um, you know? Yeah. Because I hear a lot of children complain, oh, this is tiring, this is, uh, mommy, I'm bored, I'm bored. That's all you hear. I mean, boredom is really one thing that majority of people complain about, but I feel that you can only be as bored as you make yourself. So there are always things you could do around the house. And then my dad always tells me that one, one thing you need to know about this lockdown is routine, that you should have a routine. Because once you have a routine, you're not bored, you know what? You have to do oh, at to do, yeah. each point. So do you think, okay, what provision does your school have for you? Um, so uh, my school has created a lot of online platforms and then this isn't the first one that um, we are using. Oh, you've been using the platform. Yeah, so we have okay. been using online platforms prior to this. There's Khan Academy, there's jail assessment that we take annually in the school. So it's not a new thing to majority of us, it's just so, Majority of students in our school are just having a very easy um, move on into online education. So, Alpha, if this were to continue, the lockdown, 
How yeah. would you think, um, because we hear a lot of parents, they are unable to adjust. How would you yeah. think we can help you guys adjust to the style? You, you, would you be wanting a regimented style of learning like you have in school or it should be at your free time? Because I know if we leave you people, you know, <laughs> you do a lot of playstations and all of that. So how would you want that? The thing is that most of our generation, we wouldn't want the kind of situation where we'll have that constant, that rigid set of school life and school learning. But the thing is that it's actually better for us if we had that kind of routine. So I'm thinking that if we're going to move forward and advance and make good progress in this using this online technology, we're going to have to do some kind of working together. It has to be hand in hand. With the parents? You, yes, yeah. with the parents. The child and the parents have to cooperate. So when it's time to work, it's time to work. And when you're done with that, you can go and play. And if do, you do, do that, do everything... Do you think online learning has adversely affected learning outcomes? Do you think it's different from your traditional learning setting and this? Obviously, it has to be different because we're not sitting in the classroom. So it's, like it's impacted in it a has negative impacted, way? But I wouldn't say negative because some people are actually more used to using technology to do different things. So people aren't those kind of people that listen in class and ask teacher questions and do different kinds of things that you do in normal school. But all of us have to learn to adapt at some point in time. As Yasmin said, yes, and so because of this, some people have different learning styles. What we need to do now is just to find a way to get to okay. each one of them. All right, so we'll take a quick break and we'll still have Oluwa Jomiloju and Alpha Saleh with us. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.